Well, ISI is Information Security Intelligence. There are actually two programs. One is a bachelor's program and the other is a master's program. It's basically taking computers and using them to do forensics on them. Students have an opportunity at Ferris to be in a program that is certified by the National Security Agency at the highest level, uh, be involved perhaps in National Science Foundation research projects, uh, as well as work with a variety of agencies. Students have uh, come from all walks of life, all backgrounds. The interesting thing about the information security and intelligence programs is that about a third of the students are uh, female, which is unusual in a technical program. Well, everyone's easy to get along with. We kind of help each other out. You know, if you get understand something better than someone else and they ask you, hey, can you give me a hand? Go right along and give them a hand and everybody understands everybody else. The Information Security and Intelligence program is a good fit for a student that likes to do puzzles. It can work through frustrations, new technology. It's in a lot computer lab based setting. I mean, it's cool. You know, you get to play with new computers, new technology in the classroom all the time. You get all the high tech stuff and it's fun. A few things that you pick up here that you won't pick up anywhere else that would be how to, you would learn how to secure your computer. Everybody may have an idea on how to like install antiviruses and things like that, but when you learn how to hack a computer, you'll learn how to secure it well. Information security is more than just securing computers, it's securing the information. One of the common questions is regarding what the definition of hacking is. Depends on who you talk to. But you can have what's called a white hat hacker and a black hat hacker. The black hat hackers are the ones on the dark side. A white hat hacker might be trying to learn the trade, but learn the trade so they know how to defend against it. We also call these people penetration testers. And we don't have classes that we call hacking classes. We have classes that we call penetration testing classes. So the idea is to learn how people might try to breach security and then build your defenses or your responses based on that. Computer forensics is not all just hacking. It's not, you know, it's not like something you go, you get someone's computer and just hack into it and find everything you can. It's more taking broad steps, going through, you know, a process. It's, you know, searching for files, you know, recovering lost files. It's more, you know, in depth than actually just hacking. The Bachelor's program started in 2007 and is offered in several locations in addition to Big Rapids. You can take some classes online during the summer and there's multiple locations. So you can take a class at GRCC, you can do most of your major there and then once you can you transfer up to Ferris to finish. Some of the courses that students take are digital forensics where they might examine computers, uh, cell phones, iPads, mobile devices and things like that. Uh, they might uh, have projects involving malware and viruses, uh, perhaps uh, doing penetration testing. Uh, we're bringing up a new emphasis area in mobile uh, pen testing and development. So, for example, developing uh, applications for an iPhone or something like that that are secure so you don't have to worry about losing information to an identity thief. This is an important field for a lot of reasons. Uh, we've been doing a lot of research and some of that has really pointed to a geometric growth in computer crime. Uh, the amount of computer crime, the revenue generated, exceeds that of the revenue generated by the worldwide drug trade. Identity theft is huge now. Anyone can do it, you know, it's, it's easy. You just need to know some information about anybody. You can find out information about anyone just by going online. By far, technology is going to change. It's going to be more advanced. It's going to be, you know, we're going to have computers that are going to be insanely fast. And there's just going to be, you know, there's going to be more, more people hacking, more people, you know, trying to, do, you know, trying to get, you know, secured files from our government. Um, you know, there's going to be all those threats. And, you know, definitely it's going to be something that we're going to need in the near future. I was impressed on how hands-on it was and how, um, influenced the teachers where they were very, very knowledgeable and very encouraging. Well, everybody could do it and if you knew how to do it, you could definitely secure yourself because then you know how to stop from everybody else to hack your computer. Hands-on experience. 
as major thing employers are looking for these days. Uh, just having that experience, experience is the biggest thing and especially having hands-on right out of college is a big thing. If students are interested in potentially learning more about the ISI program, they could go to the Facebook page, they could go out to the Ferris website and search within the College of Business programs. Uh, you can also just stop by one of the faculty offices uh, or stop by the first floor in the College of Business. The Forensic Lab is Business 128 and you can usually find a number of students and faculty in that room. Students are experiencing a lot of hands-on technology that you don't find every day and it's a good experience. Talk to the students if you're interested and get some feedback.